Hi guys, MarsTar39 here. Welcome to episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we were able to make our way to Gorn City and activate another ta and activate the final tower. Um, this time, we'll be um, meeting up with Yonabu. Yonabu? Yonab I don't know. We'll meet up with Yonabu and. Wait, okay, hold on. Boom! Look at that. Oh, there's Rodania, Rodania, Rodania. How are these things pronounced? Well, that is Zothos. Whoa! I don't, I don't know those things. Oh, oh, fun. Moving. Getting close. Oh no. Yeah, someone please help me. Alright, I got you. Don't worry. Hey guys, how, how, how's, li how's life going? Alright, I need, need to get close to this other guy for what I want to do. Let's go! Alright, good. He died. He did. Wow, you're you're crazy strong. You saved me again. Ooh, Mabun guts. Ooh, I always wanted those. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would it would have been real trouble if you haven't shown up when you did, girl. Sigh. Still no sign of Bossa. He's not coming. Uh, not coming. But why, girl? His back hurts. As we went through all that trouble to get them, the king cards didn't even end up working, girl. Well, if the bath came out, there's nothing else we can do. I suppose I'll just head back now. Wait a minute. Huh? You're not going back? Why, girl? I want to board with Dania. What? Huh? You're going to try to board that divine beast? Who do you think you are? It's dangerous in there, girl. Unless you're weak. If you weaken the first, it might be possible. But why risk it? It's a long story. Hmm. Well, I don't really get it. But I'm sure you have your reasons, girl. The problem is, the good old boss raised the bridge of Elden. To make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over. In order to get where the moon is, we have to find a way to get that... that uh, Boss well, normally used to handle over it, but uh, we can't get across until we figure something out. Alright. I can Oh! Heard me that you know how to use cannons, don't you? Yes! Maybe we can get across after all. Alright. Okay. But let's hope so. <laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> don't worry. Now, okay, that means. Alright, okay, let's go. Get him. <laughs> Uh, that sounds wrong, alright. Boom! <clears throat> alright, now we can get across. We did it! See that girl? If we put our heads together, anything is possible. Paragraph from my ancestor. The rooks protecting. It really is something else, isn't it? Anywho, I guess my I guess my time as a cannonball isn't over just yet, girl. So let's get a move on and cross that bridge, brother. Alright, this is a move. Gavin or Okay. I just want to make sure nothing pops out of nowhere and hurts murdering me. The line beats for Rud Rud Rudania.
Um, oh, yikes! A sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is, or how many of them there are. <clears throat> if one finds you, then you'll go nuts, which, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt the girl. I always get throttled, and then Mad Mountain come running down, one after another. But here, he'd squat those mag bombs away like they were nothing, and force his way up. I'll let you be able to do that, girl, and I don't want to cause you any trouble. Hmm. Maybe the best thing to give a signal to let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. I'll turn this hard to signal us. Mind powers now. A whistle. Since we know how to do that. A whistle. Oh, that's a great idea, girl. I hear you will show either stop in my tracks or moving forward. I like it. Even though it's kind of calling a horse, girl. Okay, then. I'm counting you and your whistle to make, whistle to make sure I'm not fly by those awful sensors. Okay. Uh. Alright, so we're dead up here on this. Wait for him to catch up. Actually, we have a picture of a century. Cool. Okay, let's move. I want to get underneath this cave. Come over here. I think we're good for now. I'm gonna wait for it to come back across. Alright, move, hurry. I think we're out of range for the most part, for now at least. There's a Dania. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> the camera and not the remote bombs. <laughs> He just thought we should be able to corner Rodania. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so I'm gonna leave you here for now. So the best way to get past this section is you actually want to climb up this cliff. And you'll see in a minute why you want to do this. So there are metal crates up here, and um, yeah, you can actually destroy these sentries with metal crates. Do that there and jump over. Boom.
What? No! Okay, I'm trying to destroy the sentry up here. It's not working too well. It's really just easier to do this. Pretty good. Um, so let's call Yanabu over. You don't need this crate. I think I left, I left him back here, I think. I'm close enough that he should be able to hear me. Alright, let's keep moving. Wait for him to catch up. <laughs> Ooh, spring. What? I what happened to the bridge I put there, game? <laughs> All right, we should be near a cannon, I'd imagine. Ah, darn. Come on. All right, what do I have for food? Nothing. That's what. Stuff. Another hit on it. We did it! Direct hit! All thanks to Rook's protection. That didn't hurt me one bit, girl. My answer came through for me. If we keep weakening like this, we should be able to get inside. Don't let up, brother. Alright, you stay here for a minute. I wanna get something. Yes, I am getting a crate. Wrong thing. So you're probably wondering, well, why would you want to create? These actually can be very helpful to destroying those sentries and not having to worry about maneuvering around them. So I'm gonna take this crate. I wanna move it a little forward. Uh, let me up. Thanks, thanks, guys. Whoa. If you're not careful, you can you can leave this on your head, and it will hurt. <laughs> ah, there we go. Grab this crate again. Alright. Alright. 
both are destroyed. Let's put all these parts and stuff. What's up here? Why is this here even? I don't even. Let's head over here now and destroy the ones over here. See if there's anything up here. Uh, more crates! I love my, me some crates. There's nothing. Actually, there's a guy over there. Let's kill him with a crate, guys. No, crate! Uh, okay. I understand. Oh! Uh, for a minute I thought I lagged the game out. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I know I have. Head back to Yanabu. Yon How is this pronounced? <laughs> please, please explain the game. So actually on my first run of this area, I didn't fire at Redania the first time, so I had to like backtrack and do it all over again. <laughs> I mean, I destroyed the sentries and all, but I just, I just had to do more backtracking. <laughs> Ooh, some gears and stuff. Oh, there's the cannon. Fire!
so cool! You really put a licking on that thing, Link. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance! Travelgate registered to map. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Alright, so now all the lights are off in this area, so I suggest taking out- taking care of these eyeballs first. As you can see them. And is there like a torch or something here that I can use? There has to. Oh, there we go. There's the torch. Send back to the fire. Now, there has to be a little lamp thing around here somewhere. Not a lamp, but like a torch. What's in this other chest, though? That's not worth. Uh, is it? No. I could probably drop that too. Ooh, ooh, a new bow. Isn't my current one about to break anyway? Yeah, so I can just drop this and get the new one. Ah, the guidance stone.
Seeker State Authenticated. Stone Map of Divine Beast. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Nice job getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Rudania are noted by the glowing points on your map. To take back Rudania, you'll need to activate all of the terminals. You got this, little guy. Alright. The lights are on. <laughs> That's good, okay. Let's see what we're doing now. Shoot him down. Oh, another chest. Three more ice arrows. That's good. Alright, so, as you can see, there's a hole right here, and what you want to do, you want to shoot, shoot the torch on the other side. Alright, so, let's see. Now, as you can see, the main gimmick is tilting. At least, in this dungeon. Okay, the metal box, huh? Oh, okay, I see. Let's flip it to 90 again. <laughs> oh, then let's put it back. Now we can activate the terminal. The flames are disabled, and now we can start to move on. I just somehow missed those doors completely. I'm so curious what's up there, so I just want to see, and then we'll end off the video.
Alright guys, so next time on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we will open this chest and activate the remaining terminals on Divine Beast Valdania, I think. So, I'll see you guys next time for that. Bye!